Laura Goodingson is the visual arts tutor and head of department from Blackpool Sixth Form College. How's Sixth Form life in lockdown, Laura? We've been working hard. Uh, we're missing our students lots, but we're just we're just getting on with it and using the remote learning to keep the students engaged and motivated. Technology has played a great, great part in this whole pandemic, hasn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. And um, thankfully, lots of students and staff are fully getting on board with it. But it has really supported us in our learning, uh, the students as well. We're all, we're all learning with this uh, t- technology at the minute and we're getting more confident with it too. How's everybody managed to stay motivated? We do lots of Zooming um, and text <laughs> messaging, just like with friends. I think we're, we're a team um, at the college the department and, and the students, and we see ourselves as a little family. So we like to just uh, just keep each other going and, and motivate each other. That's all you can do, I suppose. But yeah, it seems to be working so far. How has it worked differently for uh, students to actually be able to submit their work? I, I would imagine they're not able to do that in a normal way, are they? No. So um, what we've been doing is we, we use a lot of social media. Uh, Instagram has become our best friend really quick to, to show the work that we're producing but just also um, Google Drive um, emails just talk being able to, to talk through through Zoom and, and, and share ideas with other tutors as well is brilliant Now you're doing something to help raise money for the Blue Skies Hospital Fund like many people have during the lockdown mm-hmm. past three months or so we're into now aren't we so tell us what you've been doing with the students Well Every year, we would celebrate the the two-year achievement of our upper six students. Um, We have an exhibition. But unfortunately, this year, we've not been able to do that like we usually do. So we've created an online video um, of the exhibition. It's got all of the the artwork on there, and it was created by one of our past students, um, Emma Black, who had been doing some work experience with us as well. So it's a real collaborative project, and the music on there as well is from past students and staff. So it's it's a really nice collaborative video. Can we just touch on some of the the success stories that you may be able to share with us from past students who've gone on to achieve amazing things? Well, we've got lots of students that, um, you know, start with us and and go further afield. So we've got students that go on to work in fashion. Marks and Spencers have gone on to work with um, X Factor even. So, you know, we've got some good uh, creative names in there um, and hopefully um, with more to come in the future as well. But the, the Blue Skies charity are obviously um, a, a big a big thing to us. So we really want to, we've worked with them in the past and we really want to push that. So we're going to put this up on our social media channels so people can actually tap into it and, and have a look at the work that's being done and get involved. Just remind people how they can help raise money with yourselves and with the Blackpool Sixth Form for Blue Skies Hospital Fund. Okay, so after they watch the video, um, they can uh, click on a link to the Just Giving page where they can donate. And then afterwards, there's another link they can go and give their details, which is just their name and their email, and they will get to choose one of 12 prints that they can receive for uh, donating. So rather than a little sticker or a badge that you would get maybe when you're out in the bike donating, they'll get an actual email piece of work, uh, which we hope they'll really enjoy. One other thing I wanted to ask while you're on is yeah. how are students going to collect their results this year? I would imagine that's going to be different to how it would be in what we used to call normal. Yeah, I mean, I can't answer that 100%. I would presume, again, there'd be lots of um, emails happening there. I know that you can receive already results online. You know, last year you could have got your results online. It is nice to go in and pick up your results, of course, and get that kind of moment of achievement. But I think, yeah, they'll be going remotely with that one. But, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, so things could change. But it's looking likely they would, they'll probably maybe send them out or you can go on online. Any advice that you could maybe give for students who are about to start Sixth Form College or hoping to start Sixth Form College in September, Laura? Just come with passion and enthusiasm. Um, we're there just to support you. So, you know, if you love the subjects that you're studying, you're halfway there. Just keep being passionate about your subjects and, and we'll see you when you come to the sixth one. Thanks for chatting to us this afternoon. No, it's been really nice to get you on Radio Wave and um, all the best for the future and keep being creative. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.